COVID-19 continues to wreak havoc in India. The healthcare system is battling to cope and oxygen supplies are running low. The gift of the givers is now trying to help the country. It's calling on the public to help them buy oxygen concentrators. Let's discuss this now with MTS Suleiman from Gift of the Givers. MTS Suleiman, always good to have you on the show. Tell us what you are seeing in India and what it is that they need. Uh, good morning, Jane. It's not like what we're seeing, it's the message that we're getting from the other side. The feedback that we're getting from government, from people on the ground, from people that we know. You know, it's, it's horrendous. First of all, they're saying the crisis is far bigger than what, you know, they've, they've, that's mentioned in the media. If that's information from professors, from medical people, from people on the ground, from all over. It's really horrendous in terms of what's being seen. The, uh, the, 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 the discussions have started with the Indian government was the Consul General inside Cape Town and in the Prime Minister's office in India. And the message is very simple. They require oxygen and oxygen delivery machines. Those are the most important needs right now. There are some other requests, but these are the two most important. We've spoken to Durko, we've spoken to Ibrahim Patel, Minister from Trade and Industry, and asked of the oxygen issue. And they said the oxygen issue is being discussed government to government, and South Africa is trying to arrange those uh, the oxygen for India to some extent because it's very complicated. In terms of oxygen machines, it's oxygen concentrators that are required, and 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 we suggested the CPAP machines that were designed by the ventilated group in South Africa and uh, and uh, developed by the CSIR, which we rolled out in the second wave, which had a huge impact on saving lives in the different hospitals. And this was a feedback from all the medical personnel. The advantage of this machine is that it uses much less oxygen than the high flow nasal oxygen machines. And in the country in India, where there's a huge crisis right now on oxygen, you need machines that can deliver oxygen supply, can have a big uh, patient turnover, quick patient turnover, can have a quick saturation to prevent lung damage and death. And the CPAP machines are, would be ideal for this situation. And we're discussing that with the Solidarity Fund because they funded it. We're speaking with the Department of Health, with Durgo and the Indian government to see what's required for registration for this machine, if they want it, how we can purchase it from Solidarity Fund and then send it to India. I mean, while you're talking, we're looking at those devastating pictures of funeral pyres. I mean, there's so many people that have died there. As somebody said, imagine living in it, not just observing it, which we are observing from here. And it's incredible to hear that we are going to help. How quickly do you think you can get there? What sort of, how, what sort of numbers of machines are we looking at? And MTS, also another question, if I can throw it in there. What can we learn from what we're seeing in India? Well, it's about taking, let's take the second part first. It's, India was quite happy, you know, the government was happy that the virus count was coming down. It just shows that COVID-19, you can't be complacent. Right now, in South Africa, everybody is very happy too. Mm. You know, the numbers are down, one patient in a hospital, two patients in a town, you know, in the whole, many hospitals, no patients. We, so we become complacent. And this is when the virus strikes. We have to be very, very careful. The crisis is not over yet. The threat is not over yet. We have to be careful in terms of how we uh, interact with people, our masking, our sanitizing, not touching the face, making sure you're not in big groups. And you can see, even in, in, in America and in Europe and everywhere else, in, in, in India, of course, they're battling with the health system. But in other places, you may have the best health system in the world. But if you run out of oxygen, you take the high flow nasal machines, they need 60 to 100 liters of oxygen a minute. Can you imagine over 10 minutes and half an hour and thousands of patients, what's going to happen? And we will definitely not cope if we get that kind of strain here in South Africa that causes that kind of damage. So please, we have to avoid the best, uh, uh, best treatment for COVID-19 in South Africa is prevention. The first part of your question is, the Indian officers have been very, very good. They said we will clear everything immediately, whatever you put together. We launched a campaign last night and we've already purchased the first 100 oxygen concentrators. They're coming in stock this morning. We've got a thousand scrubs ready for them. We've got pulse oximeters for them. They've asked for steroids. We've got steroids for them. We're now having the discussion with, uh, with the Solidarity Fund and the Department of Health to see if we can get the CPAP machines released. SAPRA needs to register for international use. The Indian government needs to uh, uh, register for local use in India. We've already sent them the specs. 
They said if they're happy, they will fast track the registration with immediate effect. So my real focus, besides the other thing, is to make sure we can purchase, get the CPAP machines registered, because we've seen them work in South Africa. We know what they can do. Okay. The doctors in South Africa call it the life-saving machine. Okay, MTS. Suleiman, thank you for the work that you're doing for India and for us here in South Africa.